Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. So I was in Belfast City Centre recently and I stumbled across an event in Flannels where they were having 20% off all full price items. This included all of the designers. All of the designers that we normally see listed in the brands excluded from the event were 20% off so long as the item was full price. This included Fendi, YSL, Bottega, Le Bouton, Prada, Gucci, all of the big labels were included and I couldn't resist. So of course I went in to take a look. It was a complete coincidence and I did vlog. I vlogged to show you what they had. I showed you the bags. I'll show you the shoes that I was looking at and see if you can guess. I did order a piece and see if you can guess from the vlog what it is that I'm loving and what it is that I've ordered. So I'm going to share with you the vlog footage, show you everything they had, mostly but handbags to be fair. And then at the end of that, I'm going to share with you an unboxing from the recent Mulberry Axel Collaboration Limited Edition pieces. I picked up up one of those as well so I'm going to unbox that with you at the end of the vlog let me know what you think let me have your guesses in the comment box what you think I've ordered with the 20% off and I hope you enjoy the vlog and the unboxing I started by looking at the Gucci trainers I am a lover of Gucci trainers I have a couple of pairs I find them so comfortable and so easy to wear I also took a look at the Louboutins and had to try the Louboutin heels even though I have to remind myself I don't have that many places to wear these anymore but I love the bright colors of them these yellow ones just reminded me of summer and I love the detail and the sparkle on these black I thought they were absolutely stunning but I had to leave them on the shelf I then went over to the Gucci bags and I loved this deep jewel green color that they had I also really liked the little charm on this bag they had a pretty good collection of Gucci I quite like the tweed in this I think these pink colors are absolutely stunning I've looked at this before in Dublin I keep getting drawn back to it the colors are just so striking I think it's a beautiful bag the tweed in these colors I think really stands out and it calls to me every time I see it. I did go and take a look at the other Gucci bags as well and some of the clothing. I really like the Gucci with the darker black or navy trim. I think it looks really well with their iconic monogram, especially with the navy. I think that's probably my favourite. I loved this bag with the rose gold details on it. Then over to YSL, they had a really good collection. The deep yellow colours really caught my attention in YSL. I thought these were really unique and something different to the other YSL bags. They had quite a good collection of the Nikki bag and also the Lulu bag and the college bag. They had quite a few colours in it. They did have also the YSL camera bag as well as quite a number of versions of the Lulu. I really liked these suede. I thought they were beautiful. I'm not sure if they would be the most wearable given the very softness of the fabric but I thought they were very stunning. I do like the mini Lulu although I've learned my lesson that I did have it and didn't use it. Loved the yellow in this bag. Thought it was stunning. The crossbody strap though was a little bit short on me. I don't think it's meant for crossbody. I think it's meant to be a shoulder bag. I did take a look also then at the Givenchy bags and the Valentine Valentino bags. They had a really good selection of Valentino bags, more than they normally have. They had some really good colorways. I really liked the purple in it. I thought that was a deal color when I saw it. I thought it was really beautiful. They also had a good selection of Prada, more than they normally have. They did have some of the Raffia bags from Prada. They had the little bucket bag that was really, really cute. They also had the shopper tote in the Raffia as well. I thought their Prada collection was better than it normally is and I fell in love with this. This little Prada gold sparkly triangle bag. Is this practical for me? Absolutely not. Would I have enough time to use this? Probably not, but I couldn't put it down. I thought it was absolutely stunning. I could imagine myself on date nights with this bag, setting it down on the table, admiring it. I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. I kept going back to it. They did have the Prada in the re-edition in the Raffia, which I have in the orange and plain colour and I think it's a fabulous bag. I also checked out Celine. I'm still drawn to Celine. I really liked this pale yellow one. I don't know perhaps if for if for Celine bag black with a gold clasp would be best for me but I keep getting drawn back to it. It's the Triumph clasp. I think it's absolutely stunning. Then I moved on to Fendi. They had a better Fendi collection than normal and I was absolutely drawn to a number of the Fendi pieces especially whenever we get to the bright green that they had in store. I love this meal. This is the men's line, the box bag. I thought it was stunning and I really liked this. I just don't know if I would use it because it, didn't, it doesn't fit on 
under my shoulder perfectly but this bright green color absolutely caught my attention i thought it was stunning this is one of those bags that i kept going back to and trying on because the color just kept calling me i also thought the denim shopper tote was quite intriguing i tried this on again i couldn't get past it but on my shoulder it just it felt like it was a bit tight but this color just would not let me go out of the store i did also like from fendi if you see in the background you'll see their denim shopper tote and they had a number of the denim bags they had a denim baguette that was frayed and i thought looked really really cool it just kept getting calling to me again wondering how much i would use it but i thought it was pretty fabulous looking then moved on and looked at some of the Louboutin bags and the alexander mcqueen bags there was a beautiful alexander mcqueen but it was very bad for fingerprints which was putting me off then took a look at the chloe bags i think they look like great summer bags especially this little crossbody number coming up with the burgundy stitching i thought that was really really beautiful can't get past this mini jody somebody tell me i don't need this bag the mini jody in the bright green is so so stunning i just i i don't know how often i would use it i don't think it's practical for my lifestyle but i love it i just think it's so cute and the colors that you can get this in grab my attention and we all know what i'm like for color and now for the unboxing part of the video. I picked this up from the Axel Aragato collaboration with Mulberry that's out at the minute. It is limited edition. It's selling very, very quickly. When I saw this piece, I fell in love with it. I thought it was right up my street. I did go into Mulberry to see if they had it whenever I was in flannels in the vlog that we've just watched, but they didn't. They didn't have any of this line. So I ordered this online and this is how it arrived. Basically packaged beautifully as if you'd bought it in store. And I'm gonna try that with you today. I did also order something in flannels that I'm really, really excited about. It was stunning. But when I was in flannels, if you watched my unboxing video for the June box bag from YSL, that was a complete and utter fail. The bag was marked so badly when it arrived. I checked it over really carefully and the one in store was marked. So they have ordered me another one. A guy called Ethan I was working with who was fabulous, ordered me a fresh one and I've got it delivered to the store because given how badly marked the box bag was from YSL, I want to go in and check it over with somebody in flannels and check that it's in perfect condition. But if it all works out with 20% off this piece, I cannot believe the price I got it for. It's something that's been floating about my wish list. It's stunning, but the price, I, I, if it all works out, I will share it with you and you'll be blown away. Anyway, let's get into this. This is the piece that I got from Mulberry and it is from this limited edition and I'm very, very excited about it. It comes in this lovely dust bag and it does have on it the Axel Aragato logo collaboration with Mulberry for this limited edition and I'm excited to see this. Oh, it comes in a plastic bag as well. I've dealt with that. I picked up the beautiful, oh, that is stunning. It's the bomber jacket from this line. It again has the Axel, I'll show you it up close, the Axel Aragato symbol here with Mulberry. It has the design that would be known from this designer here. And then it has all of this detail on the back, which I just think is stunning. I love the two colors of this, the navy and the stone type color. I love the embroidery on it. It has leather sleeves, a little bit like my Louis Vuitton bomber jacket has leather sleeves as well. And this one, I don't know if you'll see it on, oh, you will. It has the little mulberry sign on the sleeve and it also has the A for the collab and I just think it's really, really stunning. Now, I haven't tried this on yet and I will try it on with you. It has this really lovely button. You'll see along with the buttons, it has the mulberry sign on it. And I just thought when I saw this that it was absolutely beautiful. I did order a large. It said online that a large was equivalent to UK 12, which is what I am. So I'm gonna try it on and hopefully that works out. It looks a bit big. I'm a bit concerned about it. If I'm honest, it does look a little bit big for a 12, but we'll try it on and see. I think it's beautiful. I think, I know it's quite casual, but that fits with my style. I do wear my Louis Vuitton one quite a lot that has the red leather sleeves. I think they're just beautiful. Let's try this on and have a look. Here we go. This is it on. It feels quite big. If I show you the arms, there's my fingers. This is it over a hoodie. I have on my S tier hoodie just that I was wearing today. It does feel quite big. I don't know, maybe is it meant to be quite oversized? It feels quite, there's a lot of space in there even with a hoodie underneath it. I do love it though. I love the design. I'll show you it open and let you see. That's just what you think. Maybe it's okay. put my hair back so you can actually see the design does it look too big 
I wouldn't always be wearing it with a hoodie. That's one thing that's on my mind, if I'm honest, that there, I would at times be wearing it with maybe just a vest top or a t-shirt underneath it. It does feel quite big. Oh, what do you think? This, as I say, is meant to be a UK 12, but if you're looking at any of these online, this definitely feels bigger than a 12 to me because 12 is what I am. Okay, help me out. What do you think? I think it's stunning. I do love the jacket. I think it's really quirky. And there's something really interesting about it. I'm just not sure about the sizing. Is it on? Let me know what you think, especially on the sizing. I'm not sure if it's a little big. You can even see my little fingers poking out at the end. I do love the style of it. I'm just not sure on the size. Let me know what you think. And also, if you have any idea from the blog, what I picked up from flannels, come into the comment box and let me know your guesses to see if anybody gets it right. If I get any more footage when I'm in collecting the bag, I will add that in. Hopefully when I collect it, it all goes well because the bag is stunning and the price will be amazing if there's if it's perfection, but we'll see that whenever I go in to collect it. And as soon as I do, if all is okay, I will share that with you as well in unboxing and let you see what I picked up and see if anybody guessed right. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching me. If you have enjoyed this, please do consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. If you're not done with me yet, I will leave another one on the screen for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for being here. Take care and I will see you again in the next one.